What is up guys, back with another video on the channel. Uh, another more of a news related video regarding E3. Uh, but before this video does start, feel free to drop a like down below if you're not or down below. And if you are new, feel free to subscribe, that'd be awesome. And if you do subscribe, if you are new, please hit the bell right beside the subscribe button to enable all notifications. It really helps me out and, and make sure you guys get my content as well. Um, it's overall good for both of us, honestly. Uh, before I do get into this though, I would like to thank you guys for the support on my last video. I honestly did not expect that video to go as well as it did. Um, we had over 1,500 views within the first 72 hours, which was absolutely insane. Um, all that tells me is that you guys want more views like that. And I also had like 25 likes within 72 hours. Absolutely insane. So, um, yeah, I'll just keep bringing you guys shorter videos and more of like news videos, stuff like that. So it seems like you guys want that stuff. Uh, if you guys did not see that video, I will link it at the end of this video in the annotation that pops up on the screen, along with the subscribe button and the, the different video that I did upload recently as well. If you guys want to check that out. Um, regarding this, we actually got a, an, an official schedule for E3. Uh, this is actually uh, a month away, actually, so pretty much a little bit more like a month, like a few weeks from now when you guys have seen this video. Um, Pretty much what everybody's freaking out about right now is uh, the like the reveal of the Pokemon Switch game for at E3, which um, honestly, if they don't do it after May, uh, it's pretty much goes against like everything they had said. Um, if they don't do it at E3, then that means we ain't going to be getting this game till 2019. And I think a lot of people do not want that. So there is a like a 99% chance they are going to be revealing. Uh, the Pokemon Switch game, or at least giving us like a hint or a spoiler or something right here. Um, right here is the most prominent what we get. Um, get a look at Nintendo Switch titles for 2018, so probably the Pokemon Switch game, if they do plan it to release in 2018, which there was actually an interview, again, like a year ago, um, when we first found out that there actually is going to be a game on the Switch for Pokemon, that it is going to be released in 2018. So again, 99.9% .9 chance we're going to be getting a reveal from the Switch game. Um, get a look at Nintendo titles for 2018, including the recently announced Super Smash Bros. So I'm assuming E3 is going to be built around Super Smash Bros. mostly. And I'll probably just towards the end of it, uh, towards the end of E3, I'm assuming on like the 12th of June, they're probably going to slip like some little spoiler or a little teaser in for the new Pokemon Switch games, um, which I will be covering on the channel. So if you guys do not want to miss any of that coverage, uh, subscribe. Shameless plug. Um, we also have the Splatoon 2 World Championship, which is actually going to be absolutely insane. I think uh, Sets Destroy X is supposed to be going in that, representing the USA, so I'm really rooting for them. Um, I actually know somebody from Sets Destroy X, so that's absolutely awesome. Um, I'm pretty sure they're actually going to be in the championship. I'm quite sure. I know the regionals, or the USA, the England Open, they actually won that, so they did insane in that as well. So props to them. I'm going to be watching that, hopefully. I think it's on the weekend, but I'll go back and watch it if I do miss it. Uh, Nintendo Treehouse Live, uh, three days of Switch gameplay with the Treehouse members in development. Starts recently announced Nashville's game right after a video presentation. So that's like a little bit of like a uh, pretty much like a simulation. I'm assuming they'll have an E3 where you can like sit down and play Super Smash Bros. after the presentation is done. So to see what it's kind of like on the Switch. Uh, Smash Bros. Invitational 2018 starts right after the conclusion of Splatoon 2 World Championship Finals. So uh, the Smash Bros. Going to be having an invitational, so I'm assuming that's the, the uh, starting of the uh, tournament or whatever they usually have here. Um, pretty much the thing at the E3 I'm really looking forward to is the Splatoon 2 World Championship. Um, it's going to be very, very entertaining, especially with the new meta shift for 3.0 and the new tracks that are going to be released um, as well. And we're supposed to be getting a new track at the end of the month, I heard as well, which is supposed to be the, uh, I don't know what it was, like the fun house, like the park. Uh, the, like the carnival ride one or whatever that one looked like when we got teasers up, but that's supposed to be releasing at the end of the month as well. Um, yeah, but mainly what everybody's just talking about is the possibility of the official reveal for the games and you know, a teaser or spoiler, a little bit of like a, a hint uh, for the new Pokemon Switch games. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Um, do you guys think we're going to be getting a possible look into the new Pokemon Switch game at E3? Um, honestly, again, if they don't do it at E3, it's not going to be released in 2018. That's my full honest opinion. Uh, they have to release something at E3. Uh, they've been working on the game for almost like two and a half years now. So 
they have to have it pretty much done by at this point. Um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, and I'll bring you guys a different video in the next few days. Uh, if you get to enjoy, drop a like, and if you're new, subscribe. Here's a few videos on the screen you guys can check out. The one going regarding a, uh, a uh, Nintendo Direct for new Switch games, and another video on the side you guys can check out as well. And yeah, I'll see you guys next video. Hope you enjoyed.